Hello everybody, Dan Babis here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. All right guys, so let's get into it. Today we have a story for you about Jeffrey Paschel. We have an update on how he's doing in prison, what he's doing in prison. We're also going to talk about Varia Molina because she is the one kind of providing these updates about Jeffrey's prison life. And we also have an update about Jeffrey's ex-girlfriend, Mary Wallace. Now, if you guys watched the season when Jeffrey was on, you know that Jeffrey was kind of juggling between Varia and Mary, right? So he went to Russia, met with, uh, with Varia, and uh, they had an overall pretty good time. Then he came back to the U.S. They kind of left on uncertain terms, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then he came back to the U.S., Got back with Mary. Mary was living at his house. And then out of the blue comes Varia. Varia flew from Russia all the way to Tennessee. Knoxville, I believe, is where he lives. And she just showed up completely unexpected, unannounced, at Jeffrey's door. And lo and behold, there is Mary answering the door to Varia. And so, as you know, as you expect, that led to a very awkward situation. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of how uh, the story progressed on their show. Throughout their whole season, Mary came off like she was uh, head over heels in a way, in a weird way, in my opinion, uh, for Jeffrey. She would literally do anything, walk to the ends of the earth. For Jeffrey, uh, she was there. Jeffrey, when Varia came, he kind of went with, with Varia. But Mary was never really all that pissed about it. It almost seemed like she was happy to wait it out. In a sense, perhaps maybe even hope that things kind of fell apart between Jeffrey and Varia. Perhaps, you know, hoping that it was kind of like a short lift fling of sorts. And then she would be there to kind of pick up the broken pieces of Jeffrey afterwards. I don't know. But Mary was definitely... Uh, into Jeffrey and she would literally do anything. At least that's how it came off to me. So we got two pieces to the story today, guys. Let's start with piece number one, which is uh, how Jeffrey is doing in prison and what he is doing in prison. So uh, Varia reveals that Jeffrey saved a guard's life in prison. Varia Molina tells 90 Day Fiancé viewers that her boyfriend, Jeffrey Paschel, is in trouble for saving an elderly guard's life in prison. Oh, no. Poor Jeffrey, right? He's always the victim of something bad happening to him, like all the accusations that, uh, you know, were uh, put out there against him by his ex-wife that have now landed him in prison were also false, according to Jeffrey, at the beginning. He was also a victim of that. He still believes that, uh, I believe. Former 90 Day Fiancé franchise star Varia Molina recently revealed that Jeffrey Paschal is in trouble for breaking prison rules to save a guard's life. TLC viewers may remember the 33-year-old reality star from 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days Season 4, where she appeared alongside the now-imprisoned boyfriend Jeffrey. The couple got engaged on the show in 2020, but their storyline never concluded because Jeffrey was sent to prison after he was found guilty of multiple crimes. Now, I'm just going to correct this piece right here because what they're saying is not true. So, the reason why their uh, relation, uh, you, you know, the their story arch uh, never concluded on the show is because when jeffrey and varia were cast on the show on 90 day fiance it was around the time when the allegations uh against jeffrey by his ex came out and uh i forget if it was a little before or a little after but it was around that time and so a lot of people have used this as an excuse for tlc to be casting jeffrey in the first place with the slew of absolutely uh, horrific accusations against him. I think it was something like rape, um, something like, uh, you know, domestic abuse, interfering with a police call, kidnapping, all kinds of things. And if you guys watch the trial or any parts of the trial, you saw uh, pictures of his ex with a face battered and bruised. Uh, it was not a pretty sight. So some really heavy accusations against Jeffrey, but some people have said, oh, because, you know, the accusations came out around the time when they started filming or casting, I forget, the show that, you know, perhaps TLC didn't really know. I don't buy it. I think that TLC should have never casted Jeffrey in the first place because just having, you know, even if you take out those accusations, Jeffrey still has a, a criminal history, a criminal background. So, um, you know, just my opinion. 
But that's what's, what some people have said. So they brought him on the show with Varia. However, you know, his past, his allegations, everything started getting a lot more publicity during his season. And so what TLC did to kind of make the situation right, so to speak, is they just didn't invite Jeffrey for the tell-all. They didn't stop airing him throughout the whole season. They kept him on. But to show that they support domestic abuser, I don't know exactly what the reason is, but to show that they don't support what uh, Jeffrey was accused of at the time, they just banned him from the tell which is the absolute, uh, it's just such a health measure. It's just, it's it's really uh, insulting in my opinion that TLC would just do that and just pretend like they're really taking a stand, making a stand against domestic abuse. They should have just, once they found out more, they should have just removed them. But anyways, that's just my opinion. But I just wanted to point out that that part right there is not accurate. Uh, in early 2022, the Knoxville resident was sentenced to 18 years in prison without the possibility of parole. 90 Day Fiance fans rejoiced at the court's decision and shared their support for the victim on social media. Now, Varia has been supporting Jeffrey through his trial, but the past few months have been very stressful for her. Yeah, no kidding. Jeffrey filed a motion for a retrial, but Varia revealed that the court had delayed the proceedings for unknown reasons. The duo has not lost hope, according to her. In her latest Instagram stories, Varia claims another incident that happened to Jeffrey in prison. The 44-year-old reality star called Varia at 6 in the morning and said that he had saved a guard's life. Okay. He claimed that one of the elderly guards responsible for looking after 100 inmates had passed out. Jeffrey added that no inmate came forward to help the guard, which prompted him to take a step to help him out. He took the keys from the unconscious guard to open the door to let the other guards know about the situation. Unfortunately, it seems that the 90 Day Fiancé star's good deed, and let's just say good deed right here because we can't really verify that what he's saying is true or not, will not land him any favors at the prison. In fact, the other prison guards are planning to write him up for breaking the rules and touching the keys. Varia asked Instagram uh, her 312,000 uh, followers to vote if what her beau had done was right or wrong. She explained that Jeffrey only grabbed the keys to save a life and did not intend to misuse the situation. Hence, she asked others' opinions about whether Jeffrey should get in trouble for a heroic act. Most fans responded that the 90 Day Fiancé alum should not get uh, in, in trouble for helping the poor guard out. However, 7% thought that what he did was wrong. Logically, his decision to save a prison uh, person's life isn't unethical. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> this is Jeffrey's version of the facts here. This is Jeffrey's story. I don't really believe much of what Jeffrey says in general. Uh, every time he opens his mouth, I, I just feel like, He's constantly lying. And so if if what he says is true, I guess we can say that he did a good thing. However, the reality is, is that he's probably not telling us the real story. What he's probably trying to do with this is trying to get some positive publicity, trying to clear out his name, at least in the media, uh, you know, in, in some sort of way. At least that's my opinion, right? Uh, once again, you can see it right here. Jeffrey, always kind of the victim, right? He does a heroic thing, and he's the victim once again. He's going to get written up in prison. Woe is me. And, of course, Varia comes out and puts out this information to, you know, to, to kind of try to fish for some positive news uh, for Jeffrey. Uh, also, you know, it's coming from Jeffrey. It's passed down to Varia. Varia has been in Jeffrey's corner throughout this whole time. And so I'm not sure that she's really the most credible witness uh, in general, but you guys let me know what you think. Do you guys believe Jeffrey in terms of what he's saying? You guys let me know what you think. Jeffrey, of course, he sees himself as a victim. He has seen himself as a victim from the allegations that were laid out against him by his ex. He saw himself as a victim during uh, the trial when he got convicted. He saw himself as a victim during the sentencing where he got 18 years without the possibility of parole. Once again, he sees himself as a victim. Jeffrey seems to never do anything wrong in his mind. And it's always somebody else's fault or society is just out against poor Jeffrey. I don't know, guys. You guys let me know what you think. 
that's how I see it. Okay, let's move on to another part of um, the video today. There's more to this Jeffrey uh, in prison story. So Vary also said some other things about it. Um, so she shared a few updates about how Jeffrey's doing behind bars. She did a live Instagram session to answer some of her fans' questions about Jeffrey. So uh, she revealed that her 44-year-old boyfriend has made new friends in prison and started working out with them. Inmates who know Jeffrey is from 90 Day Fiance have given him nicknames like Hollywood and Superstar. Thanks to his reality TV fame, he gets special treatment from his inmates. Now, I don't know what special means in prison, but that's what Various says. She goes on to add, according to her, people share their extra food with him and don't treat him badly. One of the guards at the prison recognized the 90 Day Fiance star from the show and was apparently excited to see him. Varia claimed that her franchise co-star is always nice to everyone around him and tries to be funny. She also thinks that his prison sentence is ridiculous. She's also confident that his sentence will be dismissed. Now, she does have some support. Some people have said, like, terrible sentence and things of that nature. So, like I said, guys, Varia is blinded by Jeffrey. She, she wasn't there, right? She wasn't there during those allegations. She is blinded. Jeffrey got, he's a convicted criminal of, like I said, I think it was uh, rape. I think it was kidnapping, uh, domestic violence, domestic abuse, interfering with a police call. All kinds of heinous things uh, in there. And, of course, Jeffrey has a prior criminal record on top of that, which is the reason why his sentence might have been a little longer. I forget about that. But Varia completely convinced that, you know, he's going to um, get a reduced sentence or something. She, I think she's convinced that he's innocent. She wasn't there. Um, and, uh, you know, there was a case, there was a victim, there was a trial and, and everything. And so, um, you know, but she's still in his, in his corner, so to speak. Now we can talk about Jeffrey in prison and getting special treatment without taking a look at Jeffrey's nipple tats. Now, if you guys have never seen this, these are a sight to behold, literally. Now, you know, some people have jokingly said that. This is proof that Jeffrey was the prison bitch. And I don't know. I don't know who gets nipple tats quite like that. I think it's a peacock. So uh, pretty weird, right? And here there's more. There's more. We got more pictures. There's plenty of these nipple tats. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. If you haven't, um, here you go, guys. So uh, more of the peacock nipple tats. But, you know, according to Varia, Jeffrey is a superstar in prison. Okay, so uh, last part of this video, guys, that I wanted to touch on was, um, so, you know, like like we spoke about Mary, also one of Jeffrey's uh, exes. Jeffrey seems to, he seems to have some very loyal people in his corner. I don't know how he does it, but he seems to, the people that support him, support him to the end. At least that's what it seems to me. And so... Mary Wallace reveals that um, I was kind of shocked by this, guys, because I thought that Mary would be there till the end of days for Jeffrey. But it turns out that she's kind of moved on from him and she got married just two days ago. So this comes to us from Morph DTRH. I'll leave a link to, to, to his video in the comment section down below. He's going to provide a bit more information about what happened with Mary uh, and uh, her wedding. And uh, these are pictures from her wedding. It happened about two days ago. And Mary made uh, this uh, this relationship uh, official. So um, Mary Wallace is married, as revealed by YouTuber Morph DTRH. He shared that Mary is now married to her longtime boyfriend Trevor Mouse. Now, long time? How long is that? Because we know that on the show Mary was very much involved with Jeffrey, but um, long time. He claimed that Trevor proposed to Mary over the weekend. I'm not sure what weekend that was, and they tied the knot on May 12, 2022. He also pointed out that Mary is not pregnant. In his words, I don't expect any baby bumps in the near future or immediate future. So, um, you know, Mary also went Instagram official. She went Instagram official on July 25th of last year. It seems like we're a new boyfriend, but did not reveal his identity at the time. 
Uh, the ex-girlfriend of Jeffrey smiled adoringly at the love of her life in the cute Instagram photos, confirming that she and ex-Jeffrey are no longer together after their 90-day drama. Okay. So um, there you have it, guys. Mary Wallace is married, so she's off the market. My theory was always that she was going to be waiting it out for Jeffrey, even after his 18 years. You know, she was going to wait out the whole Varia thing, hoping that it's a temporary, you know, temporary hiccup. <laughs> she was going to wait out 18 years. But as it turns out, she is married. Now, I will say a few things about Mary, because Mary, if I remember correctly, she was present during Jeffrey's trial. And she shouted, I, I, I feel like I remember this, she shouted some obscenities at the victim during his trial, right? And so she was there, this was just like a few months ago, and she was screaming at Jeffrey's victim. So it sounds like even as, you know, as of last year or early this year, Mary was still very much kind of, you, you know, uh, in, in some way, shape, or form, committed to Jeffrey. She bought his story uh, and she was there in the court to back him up and she looked you know upset and to the point that she was screaming in court at the victim i i think she was calling her a lie but i forget i forget exactly what she was saying so if i'm this new guy that she's marrying i'm kind of worried that mary might still have something for jeffrey you know because it's not really normal to go in prison especially you know, Mary and Varia, they weren't there when this whole situation with Jeffrey and his ex happened. So they don't really have anything to say about it because they were not there. They don't know anything about what happened outside of what is being said in the court at the time. And we all saw the pictures of the ex looking bruised up. You know, we saw all the allegations and obviously the jury saw it that way too and convicted Jeffrey was now a convicted criminal. But according to... To marry, and you know, a lot of these people that are around Jeffrey, you know, Jeffrey's innocent. So I don't know, guys. But that's the news I wanted to bring to you today. So, um, you know, a bit on Jeffrey, a bit on Vary, a bit on Mary. So, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you believe Jeffrey's story in prison, or do you think that he's just, you know, kind of skewing the facts a little bit to try to get some positive publicity uh, out there? What do you make of this whole Mary getting married thing? Would you think that she might still have some feelings for Jeffrey? You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Please hit that subscribe button down below right there. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.